And a big welcome back to Yaxid Gaming, everybody, as we are going to enter the draft with Roy Shantz now. He's projected to go somewhere in the sixth round. Of course, if you guys watched, you watched him suffer and just disappoint and embarrass himself out there on the field in the three amateur showcase games. Of course, he went one for 11 with that one hit that was a single that brought in that RBI. He had multiple errors. I, I I can't even count them all, honestly. I I've looked back at the videos trying to count, and I just can't care less because of how many there were. As you see here, in the beginning of the video, I video series. I apologize, guys. I'm blanking out. Lots of stuff going on tonight. Anyway, at the beginning of the series, I said the West region's going to dominate the draft. Well, it looks like so far they dominated the top half of the draft. So as you see, international, central, international. So I don't expect a uh, chance to go too high in this round. I'd say probably 15 down to 20 somewhere in there. Of course, given that the game is tailored towards your guy, it should be chance picked somewhere not close to the bottom. Like, yeah, I'd say 15 to 20. As you see yet a west player to be picked lots of international guys being picked now an east guy being picked so we've had one from every region except the west so far maybe philadelphia will go here and pick from the west we're not quite sure and they'll go from the central so we're still waiting on that first west player to be taken in round six of course i'd like to know where kurtz the guy who is leading off for our region the west region in the three West games. I'd like to know where he was taken because he was on fire, lighting it up with three home runs last we saw. And I'd like to know where he went. I'd like to see him in the majors same time as us. Of course, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. He could have had an F potential and just somehow computer generated random craziness. He gets three home runs. As you see, the West region first pick in the sixth round goes to number 10 Milwaukee so yeah you guys can kind of call me a little bit of a liar but I'm gonna maintain that they all went high rounds because the West obviously is somehow high powered always out of California something I don't know if you guys object to that comment and yell at me whatever but as you see the international is really dominating this round as I'd say I, I forgot to count this but it goes international international and then somebody else from another region, then maybe someone else, but it usually ends up going back to international. As you see, only that one West player is still taken and goes to the Central, so it's East Central, International, International, West, International, International, East, Central. I'm going to say West, of course it's East. So now we've gone a stretch without any international players, so maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I really can't predict this, and I don't think you can. I don't know why it... Uh, has the Baltimore Orioles logo up there. That uh, that doesn't bode well, but as you see, okay, now I get it. I didn't clue in. I must not have been paying attention to the screen at the time, as that just goes who's picking at the time. I thought it was what default team, so whatever. So another international player taken after East Central, East Central, East Central. And so we're getting into that late, late part of what I, my prediction was. My prediction was from the 15th to the 20th pick. So we've only got two more picks to make that happen. And as you see, the Nationals aren't going to take chance. So are the Reds? That's a good question. Are the Reds going to take chance and take a chance on someone who can't field? And no, they're going to pick Lee Sung from the international region. So is Texas, now that I'm a pick late going to take chance and no once more they won't so chance of course really needed a good showing didn't have one so disappointing overall and this is going to be a disappointment for sure if you want to go in a round you want to go high just say i was a high draft pick well you were a six round draft pick but i was a high six round draft pick as you see now the cleveland indians haven't taken chance so that'll leave the Dodgers to take them and in... no they aren't going to take them so once more chance is on the shelf and now it'll come up to the Tigers chance would be best off to go to an AL team 
I, I would honestly say an AL team would be best to draft Shantz, given that he can't field. He would be a DH kind of guy. But now you've got the Pirates in that 26th spot, and indeed they are going to take Shantz at 26th in the 6th round. So now he'll join the Altoona... Al, sorry, I want to get this right. Altoona Curve. Please correct me if I got it wrong. And so he'll join them and hope to make an impact in the Pirates' farm system. Of course, if he still can't field, I hope and pray for him that he can get transferred over to an AL team to become a DH. Of course, we're going to sign with the team. There's no reason not to at 53 overall. And 80 training points, so it'll be the Erie Seawolves and the Altoona Curve coming up right away. In the next game for Yaxity Gaming, as you see, Shantz is below William Fox, but Shantz only has a D potential. So he's gone down from what he originally started with entering the showcase. So William Fox is his competition. Of course, Sh Fox is on the bench, and you'll see Shantz there and third base, but he is DH against left-handers when there is a DH. So I'm not sure if Altoona plays with a DH or not. I've never played for Altoona in my career. So we'll see uh, what that brings. And so that'll pretty much wrap it up for this edition of the Yak City Roy Chance RTTS mode. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe, watch the last episode, and as always, so long from Yak City.